Hello there, I'm the Nightmare Duke and welcome to another Fallout 76 video where today we are taking a look at three upcoming changes that just got released with the latest PTS update and they are really nice quality of life changes. So hopefully you enjoy. If you do, then hey, consider liking and subscribing and sticking around. But let's just get straight into things. And remember, this is PTS stuff. So if you don't want to see what's about to happen, you know, in the coming updates, then spoiler warning. But let's just get to it. So the first really nice quality of life change is over at the Rusty Pick. So let's just go on inside. And that change, of course, is no more needing to server hop because the purveyor now sells 100 modules and 500 volt steel scrap. So technically that would, you know, max you out of your script, basically. So you don't have to hop servers to buy 10 from each one. There's now 100 available from the purveyor and 500 Volt steel. So that is a really nice change to see. And the second change is got to do with auto melee weapons. So stuff like your auto axe, chainsaw, your ripper, buzz blade, etc. Uh, they fixed an issue in which automatic weapons were having the action points consumed at a faster rate than intended. So that means your AP will last a bit longer now compared to before. As you can see down there, there's still the issue of in first person, it drains quicker than it does in third person. So that's a little weird bug, but that drain there on AP is really nice. So if that could be done for first person, that'd be great. Uh, but yeah, still at least being worked on. So that is now slightly better for the AP usage with automatic melee weapons. And the third change is just a quick one. Lunchboxes. Lunchboxes effects now trigger correctly for nearby players even if they aren't within a line of sight of the lunchbox owner. So if you've ever been in like a radiation rumble and you've just been a little bit of a distance away behind a wall and you hear lunchboxes go off and you don't get anything, theoretically, now that should be working just fine. Uh, so yeah, that's definitely a nice change. The lunchboxes will be correctly applied. So there you have it, just three changes from the latest PTS update that are really nice and will be really nice to have in the live game once it does release, of course. But yeah, for now, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, then hey, consider liking and subscribing and sticking around for more Fallout content. But for now, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.